I'm winged up. Mia, you wanna say hi? Hmm? Oh, you're being shy? Huh? Being shy? <laughs> Just like a one winged dove. Mm -hmm. Edge of 17. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, detective. <laughs> a priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? making heinous accusations in my own home. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? <coughs> daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. What can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's not go into that. Let's talk about what you've recovered. Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter? This morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's The name. detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, Don. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. And that's a nice ass car. Stupid motherfucking Just like a one winged dove. Mm -hmm. Can you describe to us what was stolen? It would be easier to describe what wasn't stolen, Detective. <laughs> 
priceless tiara that has been in the family for 50 years. A Fabergé cigarette case that was worth $25,000. Why are you lying about the value of your jewelry, Mrs. Eastrom? Who do you think you are? Making heinous accusations in my own home. Hmm. Such a stuck-up mother. We recovered the cigarette case from a pawnbroker. No one knows the real value of an item better than those guys. I inflated its value for the insurance claim. There, are you satisfied? No, I am not. My daughter's boyfriend was quite taken with the case. I taken? Think he was even more disappointed than I was when it was stolen. <clears throat> what can you tell us about the burglary? A terrible night. At least a year ago. But let's just not like a wild big Were you in the house when the burglary took place? Good heavens, no. I was at a social function held by a Dr. Harold Stoneman and his lovely wife. I returned home and all of my things were missing. That's about it for now, Mrs. Eastrom. The department will get in touch and let you know how you can recover your valuables. You have only mentioned a few of the items that have been stolen, Detective. What else has been recovered? You see, Phelps, that's why you get the drinks in early. Hello, Mother. Hello, Detectives. What is going on? We'd like to ask exactly the same question. You have met my daughter this morning at work. Oh, mother and father divorced. I took my father's The back. Detectives recovered some of the things that were stolen, Don. Well, what did you find? A sapphire ring on the corpse of Julia Randall. What are you talking about? Your engagement ring, Miss Swanson. Would you be surprised to know that it was part of the proceeds of a burglary? That's an outrageous allegation. Yes, it is. I suggest we go straight to Henry Arnett's place and sort this mess out. Missing something here. Arnett is obviously arranging the burglaries. That's my fiance you're making scurrilous accusations about. And Randall was obviously his partner. But neither of them are the type to creep apartments. You're being ridiculous. Both of you. There's there's a very good explanation for all of this. What a sock in it, sister. You're being played for a patsy and you're not even smart enough to see it. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Just like a one wing dog.
<laughs> Hello. I gotta do the traffic rules if I want the achievement. Ugh. Come on, sister. Let's find out who your fiance really is. Sweet, got it. Welcome, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, are you a resident? LAPD detectives. We're here to speak to Henry Arnett. Oh, uh, Mr. Arnett? Um, uh, apartment 30. You can take the lift. Thank you. Just nice and awkward. Stop! LAPD! Don't kill him, Cole. This guy's our case. Go on. Put your hands him. in the air. Fuck. Give it up, LAPD! No, don't fall.
Give it up, LAPD. What the fuck? Are you serious? Is it bug? Stop! LAPD! Don't kill him, Cole. This guy's our case. Go on. Put your hands in the air. Give it up, LAPD! Don't make me chase you! The fuck, why you keep falling? Looks like he got you good, Phelps. Yeah, he really packs a wallop. How did I get back here? Under your own steam, miraculously. You came in through the window, said hello, and then keeled over. How was our net? He's coming around, too. He's all hopped up. Good time to get some answers. You missing something, Henry? You told Heather you're honeymooning without her? Vacheron Constantine. That's an extremely expensive watch, Henry. A graduation present from my parents. We know all about the jewelry ring. You and Randall and the Blanc and Willie doing the legwork. I'm in the fashion business. You're lying, Henry. How can you prove that I'm involved, detective? <laughs> because you pawned a Fabergé cigarette case today for $600. A case that is on a list of stolen items. It was Julia's idea. Get a list of society parties and find out where and when and then have the guests burgle. Julia was desperate for money. No matter how much we made, she always wanted more. Why did Reed and LeBlanc kill Julia Randall? I, I wanted to stop, to get out of that life. She's gonna marry Heather if she'd have me. Julia told the others that, that they were out. That she was gonna create a, a new gang. You're lying, Arnett. I think you ordered them to kill her. It was made to look like suicide, and when the coroner saw through that, you knew it was time to run. I told you I was involved in the burglaries. I had nothing to do with Julia's death. Why would I need to run? Um, your train ticket. Have you told Miss Swanson that you're leaving for Mexico City tomorrow night? That it's a one-way ticket? Henry? 
tell me it isn't true? I had no choice. I wanted to marry Heather. I told Julia I wanted out, and she laughed in my face. I had to pay Willie and Jimmy a fortune to do her, and now I'm completely broke. What you are, Buster, is under arrest. <laughs> Who is Henderson, and what is his involvement? Tell them what you know, Henry. I'll stand by you if you'll only tell the truth. There is no Henderson. Tell me about your first burglary, and don't lie. I can't remember. I don't keep a list of these things. Your first burglary was a Dr. Harold Stoneman. Do you want to explain how he is involved, or shall I? Henderson is Stoneman. He was crazy about Julia. She could get him to do whatever she wished. He threw the parties, and we arranged the burglaries. Julia never let him touch her. She just kept him hanging on the promise. Drove the good doctor almost insane. Henry Arnett, you are under arrest for burglary and for the murder of Julia Randall. Henderson is Stoneman, all right? I'm not the guy you want. Go talk to the good doctor. Oh, we will, knucklehead. Meanwhile, we're fitting you for convict stripes. I'm stumped. Ideas? What are we missing? Let's go back to the apartment. His mother would be proud of it. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Do we know where we're going? I guess the wedding's off. He only robbed her mother and killed her best friend. Cut the guy some slack. So how does the doctor fit in? That's what we're about to find out. Maybe we should ask him to give you a quick once over. That meathead gave you one hell of a pasting. I've had worse. You should have seen yourself staggering back in there like a drunken sailor. Next time you can take the runner, Roy. I didn't box in the Marines, though, did I? I should have never told you that. Yeah, what are you doing? doctor to give us something to make this all better. Hang on a moment, sister. Tell him it's Henry Arnett. And tell him it's urgent. I can't do that. Tell him or I'll charge you with obstruction of justice. Doctor, I'm afraid Mr. Arnett is here to see you, and he says it's urgent. Send him in. I told you never to come. Tell us the truth, Doctor. I'm so glad you came. Prison will be better than insanity and I'm already half insane with grief. Do you know that I loved her? I ruined my life for her and yet I still love her. Will you testify in court that Arnett and Randall did these robberies? They organized the robberies. Julie would get the names of the guests attending my wife's parties. It didn't matter how much money I showered upon her, it was never enough. She 
Never really cared for me. Doctor, I'm afraid you're under arrest. Oh, the practice. You'll call Dr. Gerard. No, 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 no. Please don't cry. I want to see no one. Not my wife or my children, nor my friends. And I don't want a lawyer. Just lock me up and throw away the key. What have I done? Didn't see that coming. Operator, give me dispatch. Putting you through now. I need an ambulance and the coroner immediately to the offices of Dr. Harold Stoneman, 1646 Ivor Street, Hollywood. En route, Detective. You have a message. Detective Bukowski says the suspect is named Wilson Willie the Wolf Reed, former wrestler. Last known address is an apartment building at the corner of Hollywood and Vine. Detective Bukowski says to meet them there. On our way. We have an address for the runner. Let's try and wrap this up then. that bra. She was incredibly beautiful. Would you throw it all away for a woman? Life has a way of making you pay for your pride. You're quite the romantic, Phelps. Stick with the percentages. Broken hearts are for chumps. You're talking from experience. I certainly am. Oh, I like women as much as the next guy. As long as they're in their place and doing what they're told. Is somebody Thank God gonna I didn't tell park us there. what the hell is going on? <laughs> You're behind the wheel. Where are we going? He's around here somewhere, a big guy. Neighbors say he always wears basketball shoes and a cream jacket. And get this, the kids around here say he plays the harmonica. Find the game well and have the commander set up a dragnet. We want the area closed off. We'll take this out of the street. A harmonica playing wrestler. That's a weird one. Think he knits as well? Just keep your eyes open and your mouth shut. We don't want him to bolt on us. Wilson Reed, LAPD, give yourself up.
hold it. He's got to be around here somewhere. No place to go unless you grew wings. There he is. Wait, the son of a bitch. Bitch really picked a spot for it up here, didn't he? Julia Randall's folks are flying in from New York tomorrow to claim the body. I saw her on the slab. So perfect. Looked like she was made of porcelain. She really made an impression on me. Julia well, had that impact on a lot of men. Christ, it's cold. You guys did good work here today. Roy! I think you should buy your brother officers a drink. Do you now? That's very generous of you, Lieutenant. We have to get off of this hill! That's one of our 50 cows still firing, Cole! The 22nd are still fighting! It's over, Cole. Looks like you're one of the lucky ones. Goodbye to your friend Hank, Jack. He was your friend too, Cole. Is this how you're going to leave him? Are you wounded? Ah, scratch, Kelso. Well, get up and get out of that fucking hole! Find a stretcher while you're at it so we can get him out of here. Who's the senior officer here? I guess that's you, Cole. You were up here all night? Yes, sir. And your command? Gone, sir. Sorry to hear that, son. God damn it, we have beaten these bastards back. It's the beginning of the end. And it was one here. <coughs> You're a goddamn hero, son. What's your name? Lieutenant Phelps, sir. I'm recommending you for the Silver Star and promoting you to first lieutenant. First lieutenant. Shooting at the 111 Club, 6232 Hollywood Boulevard. Sounds like a homicide beef. Two of the dead guys caught in the crossfire were carrying army surplus morphine. Get over there before homicide tramples all over the place. We already cleared that up. Judge in Pasadena took the big sleep yesterday. He had a personal stash of 20 cigarettes. Appears we didn't get all of it. <coughs> I understand you for yeah, thousands. I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. I want to put him down to one round. God damn it. We can't seem to put this morphine to sleep. A dead judge. It's not good. Everyone has their vices. 
Even you, Phelps. You know the way. You can drive. Parker and Green are going toe-to-toe -to -toe for the top job. There's a change in the wind. About time. This wind will be like a tornado, Phelps. Parker's got a puritanical streak. You never know we'll get swept up in a thing like that. Homicide guys are already inside. Bukowski. Phelps. Back again. We're here about the morphine. Over by the bandstand. You can see what's left of the owner, Eddie McGoldrick. 26, former Marine. I know Eddie McGoldrick. He was a non-com in my old unit. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that, Cole. Waitress said he recently came into some money and bought the club. Who are the other Vicks? Two musicians, Biddleston and Bo. Get this, they used to be in a four-piece, but the trombone player and the drummer od Don't tell me. Lamont and Tyree, we've met the rest of the band. Now they're a no-piece. <laughs> Do you mind if we take a look around? Be my guest. You might want a word with the hostess, too. I'll keep her company until you're ready. When you're ready to have a civil conversation, we can try again. Do we have a new source, or is this coming from what's left in circulation? Someone cared for this instrument. You capture all the good ones, Phelps. Really? Browning automatic rifles? A dozen packs to a carton. hundred cartons or more. Looks like a couple of months supply. fired. They haven't been degreased yet. We could check on the serial numbers. 
this guy hunting for bear? Look at these things. They're BARs. You get the odd guy who sneaks one of them home from the war. How did he get three of them? Army surplus morphine, army surplus weapons, army surplus valors. Sound familiar? We should get back to the station and check the details of what exactly was lifted from that ship. You catch all the good ones, Phil. Ma'am, I'm Detective Phelps, administrative by squad. Welcome to the 111 Club, Detective. Feels like I've had half the LAPD in here today already. Any idea who did the shooting? No idea. It was my day off. If I had been here, honey, I'd be full of holes just like the others. You want to level with me, miss, before we start taking an interest in you? This place has been on the slide for years. Eddie turns up, buys the club, then we start getting visits from tough guys. Next thing you know, we have the St. Valentine's Day massacre. Are you getting the picture? Tell us about Eddie. Eddie didn't know a thing about running a nightclub. He came into some money and waltzed in and bought the place. The previous owner thought all his Christmases had come at once. Where do you think he got the money? My guess was that he was selling the sort of quality product that you don't need to advertise. Thank you for your help, Matt. Eddie was in over his head. But he was a decent boss. dozen rounds into him. Certainly sends a message. Just what I think. What's that click? Neat trick. The case must have cost more than the trumpet. He kept his stash close at hand. We should follow up on the musician angle. Good ones, Phelps. You can drive. All right, where to? All these cops, it's got to be something big, right? Take a break, boys. We would like them to stay, Miss Lickman. We're making inquiries into the recent deaths of four musicians. Since when have the police cared about dead black men? Good point. We don't. What we care about is two tons of army surplus morphine showing up on the street. 
If you care about working in this town, you better give me something on Biddleston and Bo. Or their knucklehead buddies, Tyree and Lamont. And this is your idea of making inquiries under Stonefurter? I've told you a thousand times about speaking that German gibberish at me, Elsa. Roy! How about you get a drink while I see to this? Will you sit down? Why antagonize him, Elsa? You know what he's capable of. Ask your questions, head officer. We have work to do. People are dying of overdoses. If you know anything about it, you need to tell me. I can't help you. A lot of cats are into the thing. There's nothing special about your boys. You can do this the easy way with me, or I can call my partner back over. I can assure you he's a lot less sensitive. You think your threats frighten me? Black man don't supply nothing. You think there's a black man in this town holding on to two tons of morphine? He'd be dead in a minute. White man supplies, black man buys. Makes sense, actually. My partner mentioned a couple of names. You recognize them? I have no idea what you're talking about. The only way you're going to get rid of me is to give me an answer. I knew Cornell. We worked together a few years ago. He loved the music, but... The music didn't love him. What does that mean? It means that he just wasn't that good. He was a sad, lonely cat. <laughs> Boys, take five minutes, please. I need to have a private word with the officer. Why do you ask people to risk talking about a subject that could have them jailed? Drugs are against the law, Elsa. And you're so full of courage, you have never felt ashamed. This is getting us nowhere. Do you think you'll win your war against narcotics? It's not my war. It's against the law. My job is to prosecute the laws of this city. Do you think you can stop people from needing drugs, detective? I'm asking the questions here. Then why do you come to me with your stupid questions? You know who controls the drugs in this city. It's not enough to just survive, Elsa. You have to try and make the world a better place. Brave words. Very noble. But... Words are just words, Corfels. She's right. We need to pay a visit to the mixture. Cohen, do you know where to find him? This time of day? You'll find him holding court at the Macambo. He can wait. There's something I need to be sure of. Give me till tomorrow morning. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, partner. At risk losing the trail. Too much slack.
LAPD, we're looking for Mayor Cohen. I believe he has lunch here. There's not going to be any trouble, is there? Which table? Number three, if you'll follow me. I can't decide between the tuna fish. LAPD, Gentlemen, we have some questions hi, regarding... How's it hanging? Fine, just fine, Roy. I see you brought Iga Beaver along. Hope he's not going to put the shakes on me again. Cole Phelps, Mickey Cohen. Good afternoon. <laughs> he has manners. Aren't you a little green for this kid? Meet Johnny Stompanato, Cole. He has the biggest schlong in Hollywood and the smallest gun. Or maybe that's the other way around. I can never quite remember. You're a funny guy, Roy. Haven't I always said what a funny guy Roy is? And how much fun it would be to get together with him sometime. Poor Johnny. He's the dark, sensitive type. He's a serviceman, too, Cole. Johnny was in Okinawa. You were in the crotch? Sixth Marines. The lieutenant who won the Silver Star upon Sugarloaf. I've heard of you. Something like that. All right, have we finished flirting? You got something to discuss, Roy? Or are you going to stand around beating the meat while my lunch gets cold? We have some questions. Do I need my lawyer? Your brother-in-law, Lenny Finkelstein, was selling stolen morphine. He had one-third of the shipment. Old news, kid. I don't know anything about what Lenny was up to. So I'm supposed to believe that you don't know what happened to the rest of the shipment. Lenny, God rest his soul, was a moron. He was family, though, and I haven't made a beef about that, so count yourself lucky, kid. The H is a filthy habit. I don't condone it. The simple solution would be to have all the dope fiends put down. So you don't know where he got the morphine? Kid, ask a question you might get an answer to. We believe there's a link between a group of Marines and the morphine stolen from the SS Coolridge. One of those Marines was shot to death in a club last night. I wouldn't know anything about that. So you haven't heard anything about what happened at the 111 Club? What can I say, kid? I'm shocked that in the land of opportunity, Uncle Sam's finest feel the need to resort to crime. It's a dangerous business. I can attest to that. I'd recommend they get out of the life. Quickly. A few Negroes saying goodbye on the sidewalk will never make the papers, Mickey. But we had a judge in Pasadena say adios the other day. Prominent white people popping their clogs makes everyone nervous. You know dope has never been my thing, Roy. It's always been for Schmendricks, like uh, Jack D and Jimmy Utley. But uh, I'll ask around and I'll get back to you. Hey, you boys want some lunch? How about a drink? We'll take a rain check on that. Come on, Cole, we're leaving. We have to cut that dope. It looks bad with people dying. We have to get the rest of it. There's no way of watering down the stuff in those little packages. We have to put the squeeze on those guys and get the rest of it. They don't seem to type the fright that easy. We'll see. Hey, what's going on? That fucking rat stoker has gone public about Brenda. Who is Brenda? Brenda is L.A.'s most famous madam. And everyone knows it? Of course everyone knows. Brenda pays her way. Are we cops or a collection agency? Ors have been around since the Bible. Our job is to keep it off the street so Joe Citizen and his wife can stroll around unmolested. Then we should change the law. Are you out of your mind? Every politician in America is against prostitution. Except when they're using them. So where does Stoker come in? He objects to the LAPD and the administration taking its cut. Is everyone in on this? Yeah, and that's the problem. From a little acorn does a large tree grow. He could bring the whole thing crashing down on us. Aren't you supposed to be working the... Sir, do you know which robbery detectives are working the army surplus theft from the Coolidge? Caldwell and McManus. I saw Caldwell in the squad room not long ago if you want to speak to him. Thank you, sir. We'll do that. This way. Harry, you got a minute? Sure, Cole, any time. You've been working the docks robbery on the SS Coolridge? Yeah, that's right. So how do you see it? Inside job. Either the guys working the wharves or some of the guys on the ship. What else was taken apart from the morphine? Case of BARs, case of Thompsons. 
afraid of Valor smokes. Homicide just recovered three BARs and a mountain of cigarettes at a shooting at the 111 Club. No kidding. I better get over there. Do you have a copy of the manifest? Yeah. Here it is. So, how do we connect the docks robbery to the mess at the 111 Club? Half a million Surrettes loose on the streets of L.A. This is the crate we recovered. Here's our backroom arsenal from the 111 Club. Enough to arm three companies. Some of these guys are from my old unit. They must have finally shipped home. Kelso, Sheldon. But Goldrick. But Goldrick was on the boat? Sure, we checked him out. Goldrick bought the 111 Club, Harry. His brains are all over the bar. Looks like whoever stole the dope is getting muscled. By whom? Dragner or Cohen. They control the hop. Detectives, KGPL's going crazy. Shots fired at 1384 North Bronson. Some guy with an automatic spraying a Hollywood bus. They want every car. Go! I'm thinking of moving up to a 45. Yeah, I'm thinking of moving up. How well did you know the owner? Goldrick? Well enough. He was in my unit. That's some cruel irony. You survive the war, then get blown to pieces back home. It happens more than you'd think. Young guys trying to adjust to normal life, getting mixed up in the wrong crowds. The kid had just bought a nightclub. I'd say he got mixed up in the right crowds. Until someone filled him full of holes. You don't come into that kind of money that quickly without pissing a few people off.
LAPD, yeah. drop the gun now! You're clear, go! Why are you dro making me drop my Thompson, you asshole? It's one of the BARs. Phone number and restaurant table. I know that guy. Felix Alvaro. He's one of the guys from the ship. His name was on the manifest. Looks like McGoldrick wasn't the only one to get a message. Hey, Alvaro. Hey, Lieutenant. He's just a plain detective now, Chico. Who's the jughead? It's my partner, Roy Earl. We just want to find out what happened. What happened is that someone took a shot at my bus. And the cops turned up and started treating me like I'm some sort of pachuco punk. My people have been in California for over 300 years. Very fucking admirable, Felix. You hear anything about the big heist on the Cool Ridge? Mm. Yeah, I heard about it. So what happened? Not much. <coughs> uh, the cops came and interviewed me and all the other guys on the ship. I was down at the 111 Club this morning, waiting for the medical examiner to scrape Eddie McGoldrick's brains off the bar. You want to tell me anything about that? I heard that Eddie came into some money. Too bad he didn't keep a low profile. It's a tough break to get through Okinawa and then have to buy it back home. Who's shooting at you, Felix? How the fuck do I know? The dead guy on the roof works for Mickey Cohen. Why would Cohen want you dead? Man, I don't know anything about Mickey Cohen or, or any of those gangsters. Your name was in the sniper's notebook. Level with me, Felix. Cohen thinks because we were on the boat, we have the morphine. Courtney's meeting those guys to sort it out. Courtney Sheldon? Yeah. You remember Sheldon, don't you, Cole? We'll be in touch, Felix. You heard that Jack is in L.A.? I saw his name on the manifest. He's been here a couple of months. I'm sure glad to see you got over your wound, Lieutenant. I mean, Detective. Pretty cool customer. He's been under fire before. You buying his story? Not for a minute. Phelps badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? How can I help, Detective? I need an address on a Jack Kelso. Just a second. Jack Kelso, apartment 4, 1408 North El Centro Avenue, Hollywood. Thanks.
Jack was a company sergeant. He would never get involved in something like this. We brace him and drag him downtown. It won't work. He's a tough customer. Hello? Detective Phelps, LAPD. What's going on here? This joker was trying to tail one of our patrons inside. I'm a reporter, you idiot! I'm doing a feature for the examiner, and that patron I was following is a red under investigation by the feds. Where is he now? The parking lot. His is the blue Talbot. Say, hey, how about an exclusive when you bring him back? Shove off. You won't be filing your story today. I'll check this out. A red, huh? Sneaky bastard. Oh, I'm gonna enjoy this. LAPD, sir. Can I have a word? Well, that's an admission of guilt if I ever saw one. Oh shit, that's a nice looking He's not car. getting away that easily. Damn, this thing is fast. Slow down. Oh shit, come on. No good, we need to get closer. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. I'll try for the tires. Keep your foot down. Put your hands where I can see them. This is harassment. Understand? My politics are nobody's goddamn business but my own. Can you drive to this one?
You can drive. Fine, where are we headed? Hello, Jack. This is Detective Roy Earl. Hello, Cole. We would like a word. Would you like to come inside? Actually, we'd prefer if you'd come downtown with us. Do you mind? Do I have any choice? No. You don't. Are you going to tell me what this is all about? It would be better for all of us if we discussed it at the station. Bad move, Cole. How have you been, Jack? Cut the crap. Pick me up in front of my apartment like a common criminal and then expect small talk? Fuck you. You know that there's a gang war going on in L.A. trying to recover that stolen morphine? That has nothing to do with me. I'm sure it would be gripping to hear more of your life story, boys, but the truth is, I don't give a fuck. You were on the boat, Kelso. What happened? Do you really think a bunch of Marines could muscle in on the dope rackets in this town? Between the vice squad and the mob, I hear it's pretty sewn up. You better watch your mouth. Did you know that Eddie McGoldrick recently came into money and bought a nightclub? No, I didn't know that. And you didn't know that some mobsters blew his brains out last night? No, I didn't. You heard that a crate of BARs went missing? No, I didn't. I saw Felix Alvaro today. Good. How was he? A little pale. One of Mickey Cohen's goons had emptied about 60 BAR rounds into the No, bus. that would just ruin my star oh, rating, though. In the middle of Hollywood. Are you going to tell me what's going on? Or do more innocent people have to die? Yeah, and what's in it for you, Cole? Newspapers? More glory? Another promotion? Another medal at the expense of men who fought for their country? Count me out. What do you know about the Army surplus robbery from the Cool Ridge, Jack? What I know is that on three separate occasions, you would have been dead if it weren't for me. I don't know anything about the robbery. People are dying because morphine intended to help servicemen is being used on the street. Now we have guys from our old unit being killed by mobsters. We can put two and two together, Jack. Gratitude isn't a concept that has much effect on you, is it, Cole? Answer the question, Jack. Let's get this over with. I was interviewed when the robbery took place. I don't have anything further to add. Jack, we just want information. Bullshit, Cole. Did you seriously believe that dragging me down here would get me to give up my own guys? You call yourself a Marine? Trying to make a name for yourself with this shit heel? Look at this chump with his $200 suit and $2,000 car. The tough guy act is really impressive. I like you, Jack. I'd like to make you for this. I really would. I'm going to be working on it and keeping an eye on you. You can go now. <sighs> Shooting Robert Steiner, 6780 West Sunset Boulevard. The victim is a Chris Majewski. Another name from the manifest? How uh. <clears throat> many more friends of yours are going to get plugged today? I hate the turning on this car, these cars. Talk about tension. 
That was like being trapped in an elevator with a married couple who can't decide whether they love each other or hate each other. We go back a long way. You went too easy on him. Next time, you leave it to me. I know how to handle that smug son of a bitch. You don't. Jack will never give up his own men. Oh, that was fast. They just walked up and shot the man. Two of them officers, they went that way. Go on, get after him. This one needs a handbrake. Deeper. Come on, come on. I can't take a shot from here, Cole. Yes, you can. Get in close and steer him off the tar. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. Oh, well, that did not work out for me. It's no good. We need to get closer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. Come on, move! Wait. Shoot him! Step on it, huh? Just give me a little Watch closer. It. These guys aren't gonna go quietly. Open fire! Is that a Thompson they're using? some cover he got lucky I missed the first time oh a newspaper To look at damage limitation. We can't allow that strumpet Brent Allen to bring down the whole administration. We've got to put a lid on the press. Can't someone talk to Harry over at the Times? It's too late. The Times would look ridiculous if we dropped the story now. Who is this Stoker? Stoker's a lily white. Nothing that will fix this in the short term. My law and order credentials are disappearing as we speak. Can we get Brenda to leave town? Yes, we can, but she won't go quietly. Brenda has extensive records. Can she at least lay low? That's already been taken care of. Mayor? District Attorney? Who is this guy? And what does he want, Horrell? The name's Roy Earl. Detective. Administrative Vice. Aren't you one of the clowns that got us into this mess? Oh, I think that the orders regarding Brenda come down, not up, Mayor. I have a human interest story. It involves a certain LAPD cop. A hero from the war who has let his beautiful wife and kids down, who has betrayed America for a German junkie whore, who has abandoned his pledge to the LAPD and his commitment to the public, we all serve. Could be all over the papers by tomorrow, and you would be off the hook. So what do you want in return, Roy? Fingering a fellow officer? He's an asshole. Hmm, another BAR. LAPD file. We have a traitor in our midst. All of the names on the list have a hit team assigned to them.
Cohen is meeting with Sheldon tonight. We need to get to those guys fast, otherwise there'll be no case. They're taking out all the guys from the ship. Why? How does that get them the dope? They obviously don't know who has the morphine, and they're waiting for someone to crack it. Not dead, come on. Get in close and steer him off the tar. I can't hit a target that isn't there, Phelps. It's no good. We need to get closer. Get in close and steer him off the tar. Step on it, huh? Just give me a little closer. I can't take the shot from here, Cole. I guess I can pass for a cup with my itchy finger trigger. the big guns so
off the guns. Move. Stay down. Tell Courtney, B bad luck. <coughs> it was worth a try. It was worth a try. Most people never get the chance to be rich. Wouldn't you risk it? Warner says it's going to take a Okay, I was just there. Where to next? Oh, I missed one. Uh -oh. I think I might have missed something. It should have revealed my location. Blah, 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 blah. Looks like Sheldon is bringing his own fire team with him. Majewski, Beckett, Goldrick, Driscoll, these are good guys. Why do they get wrapped up in this thing? Not everyone has your unwavering restraint in the face of temptation, Cole.
This isn't looking good. I feel like the fat kid at the back of a race. You sure it's Cohen making the hits? All fingers point his way. Your buddies are in way over their heads. Being a Marine doesn't mean shit out here. I'm trying to figure out what to play next after this game. in the head how about seven keep moving I'll cover you stay in cover right they have shotguns clear me some space here find some cover fuck you They're making a run for it after them. Stay in cover. Hmm. I'm going to put out an APB on every one of the sons of bitches on that. APL to Car 11 K. Car 11 King. Come in. Car 11 King. Station. Hey, Courtney Sheldon is at Hollywood Station requesting an interview with Detective Cole Phelps. Well, I'll be damned. That's not correct protocol, 11K. I'll take that as a roger. Call 11 King en route. You drive. I need to go over the case notes. Do we know where we're going? Bathroom break. if you please. I'm working a major case. I'm not close, Cap. It's gonna have to wait. Let Phelps do the interrogation. But, Cap, no buts. This is more important. No, detective. This is Dr. Harlan Fontaine. He came down here to help me out. How do you do, sir? You stole the morphine from the Coolridge. You can't prove that. Let's see if I can try. And what is your relationship to Sheldon, sir? Tudor mentor. Mr. Sheldon is a medical student of mine. He has a very bright future. Oh, that's nice to know. Too bad all of your war buddies won't get to see your graduation.
I would have asked Beckett or Majewski or Driscoll about their involvement, but that's difficult, considering they're all dead. That leaves you, Sheldon. You can't blame their deaths on me, Phelps. You're lying, Courtney. The other guys aren't smart enough to attempt something like this. You either give it up, or I go after Jack Ford. And how do you prove that, Cole? We know about your showdown with Cohen. We found notes on your guys. Cohen is hitting our old... He believes we have the morphine. I told him that we don't have it. And that's the truth. Isn't it, Doc? I believe, Mr. Sheldon. I think he's telling the truth, Detective. You were on the ship, Sheldon. Yes. That's correct. So you had opportunity. But it doesn't mean that I was involved. So you don't mind that the mob executed McGoldrick, Driscoll, and Beckett to get to you? I don't know why you're trying to pin this on me. Where's your proof? Beckett had a message for you before he died. Bad luck. It was worth a try. I feel bad about Beckett Phelps. He was a hard charger. Those guys deserve more. I don't blame them for taking their shot. Have you finished, Detective? I'm just getting started. You have an answer for everything, Courtney. Let's hope Jack does, because now I'm going after him. Is there anyone you're not prepared to sacrifice? Jack is not in this. He's a good guy. You were Jack, Courtney. I don't care who goes to jail. I just want the morphine off the street. What are you offering, Cole? Don't be ridiculous, son. This man is gambling. What's your offer? Doctor, good to see you. I'm conducting an investigation. Upstairs in my office, now. This man is about to confess. As of now, you're suspended from duty, pending a fitness review. What are you talking about? You heard the man, Phelps. Upstairs and face the music like the hero you were. <sighs> you certainly had us fooled, Detective. Phelps, you're one of my favorite sons. You've broken this old man's Sir, heart. Sir, what is going on? You're suspended, Phelps. And over your badge and gun. Don't keep him waiting. What is going on? Your wife's attorney has pictures of you and the German. Compromising pictures. Man. She's pressing charges. You'll be formally charged with adultery. A criminal cannot serve as an LAPD officer, as I'm sure you're aware. I don't understand. How could you do it, lad? Your wife. Your children. Consorting with the enemy and a dope fiend at that. You're lucky the war is over. You'd be taken out and shot. The department doesn't need this kind of publicity, Phelps. Hand over the gun. Keep your head down until your board hearing. I forbid you to make any comments to the press. What the hell were you thinking? Marie, listen, Marie, I need to explain. Please leave, you're upsetting the girls. Let me see them, Marie. They're my daughters. Go to her, Cole. You have done enough damage here. Do you want me to call the police? For God's sake, Marie. Can't we at least talk? What is there to talk about? Do you love her? Do you? What were you thinking? What about our children? Can you imagine what this has been like for them? Go away, Cole. My father has hired an attorney, and you will be hearing from him. I'd like to explain, Maria. I'd like to tell you what I've been going through. What you've been going through. I have had reporters camped out on the front lawn all morning. I can't stand it, Cole.
Okay, everyone, keep it down. Cole Phelps joins the arson squad today. <laughs> How'd you like porking that German whore, Phelps? <laughs> Phelps is up before a review board in December. Until then, he works the arson desk. End of story. Phelps. Yes, sir. I don't care what you did or didn't do, Phelps. I hear you're a good case man. But if you fuck up on my detail, I'll have you out of here before your feet touch the ground. Do we have an understanding? Yes, sir. Cap, we don't want a fucking rat like Phelps. Can it, Tilden? Phelps, I'm partnering you with Herschel Biggs. I don't do partners. You know that, Cap. You do now, Biggs. Social basket cases like you two should get along just fine. Biggs will show you the ropes, Phelps. This is arson. There are no ropes. It shouldn't take long, then. Start with these two. House fires. 326 South Kenmore Avenue. Stefan's family was out of town when it happened. Then go to 4414 Rosewood, family by the name of Sawyer. Fire brigade will be on location. Are they suspicious, Captain? That's for you to find out, detective. Now get out of here. Both of you. Get out! I didn't want to arrest the kid, so I gave him a dusting he wouldn't forget. I want to make comments about that Did you see his lovely wife and children in the paper? What a rat. You got a stakeout down on second. Ew. How long have you been working, Arson? We gonna do the small talk thing now? Talk baseball, exchange addresses? I don't think so. Feeling down, hotshot? Need a buddy? Or look somewhere else. So this is how it's going to be, partner? I already told you, I don't do partners. I seen you on your first day, hero. Walking into the station with your chest puffed out with a little kid in his confirmation. You wouldn't have given me the time of day. And now you need somebody, and that somebody's supposed to be me. Well, it's not gonna happen. That's quite a speech. I heard you were the strong, silent type. You cracking wise, Phelps? No, Biggs. I'm breaking the ice. Just drive, hot shot. much left there never is if the job's done properly you think it was deliberate nah that's real pain in your face 
They would have moved out the things they care about if this was insurance. There's no mileage in this. Hello, Mike. Hey, Hirsch. Cap this one. Yeah. Mike Brannigan, Cole Phelps. It's okay, Brannigan. His name may be dog shit, but there's none in his hand. No offense, Phelps. None taken. Do you have anything? The fire started late last night. Stepped family at Catalina Island. Won some kind of competition. Looks like the only thing they ever won in their lives. You come home with us. I'd say they were pretty lucky, really. They don't have any insurance. Everything they own, including the house, is not a pile of rubble. Where are they sleeping? In the car. It's lucky the whole block didn't burn down. Where it is, they're bulldozing this whole neighborhood to build new homes for GIs. That's the man in the house. In the ruins. Terry Lady is his wife. We'll take a look around. Come on, Phelps. Solve the case. Book some boss. He's the dirty cop from the newspapers. Mr. Stevens? Cole Phelps and Herschel Biggs, LAPD. I know it's a difficult time, but could we have a word? Gone, stuff. You were out of town. We won a prize. We had a wonderful time. Came home to this. Do you still have the tickets? Sure. It's a formality, but we'll need to speak to the issuing agent. Can you tell me any more about the prize that you won, Mr. Stephens? Weekend at Catalina Island. My uh, wife got this flyer in the mail from the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Did you enter any kind of competition? My wife filled in a flyer. The lady just rung up and told us we won. It's the first time I ever won anything. The redevelopment fund. Did they offer to buy you out? They're building new houses. They showed their money and most of the neighborhood just packed up and walked away. But I never bargained with them. Everyone else is selling, but you're the holdout, aren't you? I was the last. I thought I could hold out for a better price. Now my house is the center lot. So now you have to take the price regardless. Looks like it. I've got no choice. I have to put a roof over my family. That's all we need for the moment, Mr. Stephens. All right. Seems irrelevant. Hello there. Incidental. There has to be... Mm. 
Cole Phelps, badge 1247. How can I help, Detective? I need information on the Suburban Redevelopment Fund. Yes, Detective. Just checking. The fund is a semi-government agency established to speed up the building of GI homes. It has private investors as well as a government endowment. Huh. You have an address for them. There is one listed here, corner of Beverly and Mariposa. Thank you. some bar fly for the murder. Recently serviced. Could be something to go on. Is there anything else to go by? Yes, no, maybe. Firehouse, all right. Once with him. You've seen the papers. I guess he's thinking about his own family. I'd say he's searching for some kind of atonement right now. Have there been any other house fires? This is arson. We get an average of two a night. Does that answer your question?
Step out of the vehicle, I've got an urgent call. No! Join the place! This is 11K. We'll handle the call at Main Street. Hands off! I'm sick! Nothing that a night in the tank wouldn't fix, bub. Now, where did they go? What happened? Two guys made off with about a grand in a paper sack. The vag says he saw him leave. I'm right here, you He's know! Not much of a witness. Sir, you need to tell us where they went. Now. They headed for the parking lot. Games, folks. Take this guy out. Don't leave me hanging out here, Phelps. Move in. Close and steer him off the tar. Lay into his wheel well. Come on. What the heck, fire? God, my score is going to be so bad. I lost him. Or not. Well, at least your car stopped too. you took us on. Get out with your hands up. Huh, your car gave up.
You're behind the wheel. Hi, Albert. We've got this case. Hey, Biggs. We? You have a partner? What gives? This is Cole Phelps. You may have read about him. Oh, now I get it. Hello, Phelps. Welcome to the netherworld of arson. Family of four found dead in their beds. Peter exploded. Hey, another one? Looks that way. Instaheat Model 70. Before you get excited, we get a couple of water heaters a month go back. Take a look around the yard and see what you can find. What is he wearing? Val! You gonna stick it out, Cole? I'm gonna try, Mal. What have you got? Family by the name of Sawyer. Mother, father, and two kids. All in bed from the looks of it. Oh, I'd say carbon monoxide poisoning. The burns are superficial. Time of death? I'd say about midnight. Anything more exact will take some time to determine. Lynch tells me this has something to do with a faulty water heater? Could be. There's been a spate of problems with a particular brand. I've got another angle in mind. You care to elucidate, Detective? This is a murder and not an accident. Sharing information has helped us solve quite a few cases together. I need something concrete, Mal, before the department gets wind of it. I'm in arson for a reason. I feel sorry for your wife and kids, Phelps, not for you. But you're a good case, man. One of the best I've ever met. I'll help in any way I can. Thanks, Mal. I'd say that's firm but fair. Ah, she gets to sleep. <laughs>